I'm doing a dork table solo for the first time since I can't remember when. We're going to try to keep the chat open on the RLM to make this more entertaining. Anyway, so what do we got going on? We got, uh, I do the hellos. Wow, see, I'm not used to doing this without Mary, so it's a little strange. But I'm going to do it, and we're going to say hey to the folks at the RLM. And yeah, there it goes. Hey, Grim just posted up the dork table on the RLM. So we're going to say hey to everybody. We got Barman, Cowboy Tech. Hey, Cowboy. Uh, Grimner. Grimnerd. Phantom. The, uh, we got two. Wait, wait a minute. We got the Phantom 2. Oh, no. Then we got Anti, who is now Anti Theocon. Asmo's back. Asmo 2. Then we got Beth Z. Brent underscore Chal Sedoni. Hey, honey. The, my wife's on here listening to this crap. Uh, we got, hey, we got Chloe singular. We got Chloe not singular. Chloe, Chloe. And we got Colfax 101. And hey, Pox Cyber Noodle. One of Pox's bots, I think, if I got that shit straight. And we got Dakota Frump. <laughs> hey frumpy that was good frumped uh i be done c hey don uh, i be done c double wait a minute we he's double dipping hey we got hansel hey jew dread you old bastard how the fuck are you and we got jays nines and jays over there in the uh uk way <laughs> uh wanna taco kozu mm -hmm. Pox box, pox fight, pox phone, pond sauce, Kate. Hey, Miss Kate, how the hell are you? We got us some rain. We got some fluke. Hey, Rob works. Bring out the bubbler, Rob. And uh, we got sock puppet. Hey, sock. Good to good to see your happy old ass over here. Entertain me with your witticisms. Your witticisms. And we got Skittle. And me, some booty. My wife changed my name to some booty. Ha, 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 sir. Funny, funny. And last, holding the show together, we got, guess who? Trust number one. And uh, that serves the, the hellos and the goodbyes of it all. Anyway, I suppose they put us out on all kinds of other different channels and shit. And that's all nice and wonderful. And it, it's nice to be heard. But today what's going on here hey he, yeah i'm gonna give it a shot kate uh, i don't do good i feel like i'm talking to myself in a way it's, it's different than say if mary or, or um, Vinny were with me you know then there's somebody to ignore you back <laughs> anyway so i'm in town i go to, to do the grocery shopping it's my part of the deal i like the walk i like to go into the and mix with the people and be, because the weather's been so hot, I've been going to having a, a couple of beers be, between stores. And one of the people I met is a teacher. And today we were having a, a I don't know about a, a debate, but more like a conversation about her optimism doesn't want to see the moonwalk thing that the United States did in 69 is a hoax. And I'm American, and I grew up believing that what I saw and what I was told was a bunch of bullshit. That's what my peers told me. That's what my family told me. I stuck with that side of it. I never, I never went along with the, you know, the the common narrative, what people believed as a group. So, so here I am in Denmark, and and all these years later, and not so much arguing, but how do you put it debating we're debating the idea of debating in a civilized fashion in a foreign country and in english so that i'm not just sitting there picking my nose looking at everybody you know because danes could do that if they want to but they seem um very interested in what i think you know it's not like what any one person thinks is true, they're more interested in hearing opinions than what I'm accustomed to, you know. Because back home we had the red and we had the blue and we had everybody else. <laughs> hmm. 
and I managed to survive in a military town for 10 years being somebody else without any uh, of direct affiliation to one side or the other. It, it, I'm kind of amazed I survived all that now, now that I look back on it. I got listeners. Holy shit. There's Anti. Anti's giving me some uh, slap on the back there, so I don't feel so... Um, I don't know. What would it be? Uh, hmm. When when you're by yourself talking to yourself and there's nobody around, you're kind of used to that. But when you strap a set of headphones on and start doing it, it, it changes the game just a tad. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm in this Danish town and the, the people that choose to associate with me and speak in English are teachers. Uh, shop owners, people that you know have possession. I don't know if it's the uh, the illusion of America or if it's just because they get a chance to speak the the, the English that they learned how to speak. It finally serves a purpose. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, I guess I don't know how if you've never done it. I don't know how you really could understand it, but. I'm living in a situation where people could be really cruel to me based on where I'm from if they chose to, but they never choose to. And the people that have chosen to, well, <laughs> in four and a half years in Denmark, I've been treated rudely by one store clerk and he was a Muslim. <laughs> So, I don't even know how to count that. I guess it's just, you know, people are going to, you're going to piss somebody off out there. It doesn't matter who you are. Let's see. You didn't update your now playing deal. Oh, there you go. Shit. See, because I always, um, wow, and then I opened it like 12 times. Let me, let me see what I can do here. I'll straighten that out. Grimner, I'm not the best on the, uh, okay. I'm not the best on the thing here. Okay, so what do I put up? Just um, dork table, right? The dork table. We'll stall with this too. The dork table and the date. And we're looking at a big... Tw and I do it backwards like you do it. I like that. 2018 space 08 space 04. And let's see if this works. Grim will tell me. I hit update. There we go. Yeah, I was looking forward to listening. I overslept today, so I didn't get to hear you and uh, Moose on the on the Freakers ball. So now i got to wait until the week. Because you don't throw it up on the, uh, on the thingamabobber. I think it's what YouTube or free and uh, what is that fucking shit called? Uh, for, um, what is it? Holy shit! My memory is Spreaker. My memory is fading like a star in the night. Anyway, did I do it right now? I su okay. There you go. So I suppose that's a positive. Well, it's a step forward. It's better than I used to do. Because I did a show with Moose once that was really good. We had a nice conversation, and I forgot to hit damn record, so we lost not we lost it to history. But if you were there and heard us talk, you'd know that me and Moose pretty much think alike. It just she's a little more excitable in the verbal explanation than I am, unless I'm talking to Mary, and then I yell at her because she doesn't listen. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I miss all Miss Mary on the dork table. Boy, there's no dork table like a dork table with Mary because we have that, you know, that history. We go back so so many years and we know each other through the internet in a way that um, it's hard to explain. But we're very good friends because of our association on the internet. And I, I don't think that uh, if me and Mary met face to face i don't think anything would be any different it would just be the way it is because we got along so well for so long and i don't think i've even had an argument with her we just yell at each other and <laughs> and ignore it let's see what do we got going on on the chat i really don't have a t 
topic. What have I got? I guess I've got a lot of things to complain about. You know, uh, people are so caught up in the story they forget to think about the truth. <laughs> Whatever the truth is, we don't know it. Or if we do know it, it's not what we see. You know, it's not the way we see things. It. Hmm. I guess that's what really matters is how you interpret what you see. But the way it's presented to us is such bullshit that how can you make a rational choice out of the crap that they throw at you? <laughs> you know, um, like take for example, I mean, this might be a far, ex, far, ex, uh, like a, a stretch, but the toilet situation, you know, and I live in a small town and one of the things that's a, a mainstream in this town is public toilets because it's a small town and you have a lot of children and, uh, people are outside and, and they need to use them but what we don't have is this misunderstanding about who belongs in which one <laughs> now i personally think that's man-made you know the the microscopic amount of people that fall into the categories they make for us don't they, they don't tilt nothing and i think the enforcement I don't know, maybe the enforcement and the rules make it bigger than it really is. Let's see, what has Kate got to say? I don't know, this is hard to do without Mary. Let's see. I'm going to read the chat and see if we can't get something going on with that shit. Let's see. And Wilson's cover of Leslie Gore's You Don't Own Me. Ah, really, Kate? Come on. While I'm doing the radio, you're going to post music. Oh, yeah. Smack! Where's Hansel when you need him? I wish Hansel would get on the um, RLM and we could debate liberalism. <laughs> uh, there's a good topic would be um, the lack of understanding that both sides have towards the center. They seem to think they're different, but how can you be different if you're opposite sides of the same thing? You're the same thing. Your expression might be a little different, but the control you want to put on me in the end is all the same. And I think that's one thing that some of us here at the RLM could do without is that fucking control thing where other people decide what's good for you when they don't, themselves don't even apply it. They just put it on you. <laughs> I wonder how many limousine babies run around in a seatbelt. Yeah, shit like that. And I have made a point to people that if you want to get rich in this world, here's some great, I'll give it all to you, all at once. Buddy up with a lawyer. Find out what the federal government or the whatever country you live in, the government is going to force on the people. They're going to have to purchase it and invest heavily you know, in whatever that is. What? Oh, that's okay. Okay, Kate, I'm just giving you a hard time because uh, this is weird doing this without Mary or Vincent or Moose or whoever's helped me through the time. I'm not, um, it kind of feels like I'm talking to myself in a way, but then in a way <laughs> it doesn't. But there are quite a few topics to, uh, what do they, hit the internet waves with. Unfortunately, there's not enough desperate people to understand the message being sent to them. Uh, they got, I don't know, how, how I see it is they've got half the information that they need and then half the information they have is shit to distract them from what they need. So they've got equal amounts of bullshit and truth all thrown at them simultaneously. So how do you figure it out? I mean, there is definitely something wrong with our societies. I will not argue that. But I don't really believe that the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, voting system is seriously done the way they tell you it's done. I don't believe that the people have any fucking thing to say about any fucking thing. You just, I don't know. <clears throat> You're a cannon fodder for bankers. So just like me, I mean, I, I say you because I'm talking, you know, people get 
a little carried away with that. They go, oh, well, you think you're so special. No, I'm just a motherfucker that's got the nerve to say it out loud. And most people don't. They want to sit in a corner and, you know, be part of a bigger group. Like, I want to support the Jews. Because if I don't support the Jews, then I must be supporting the Arabs. Well, I've tried to tell people, as a Jew... There's no difference. You're getting fucked by the same people no matter who you support. No matter what side you think you're on, you're on the wrong side. And that never goes. In. Hey, we got rid of Hansel. Fuck. Goodbye, Hansel. See you later. <laughs> Nothing personal, but just less Fox links for you guys to endure. Anyway, I will continue to misrepresent the truth and tell you guys a bunch of nonsense that ain't true according to society because well i don't want to control you and society does so that should be the indication right there you know you go with hmm who wants to tell me what to do and who wants me to make up my own fucking mind and do it my own way the second one is the one that gets passed over every damn time I see Grimm say it, I see Rob say it, I see Sock say it, I see Anti, I could go on, because you guys know who you are, but, you know, and then there's the, there's the shit on the spoke, you know, the one that gets all, that makes that whistling sound that gets all your attention, and maybe it's dying out, maybe it ain't, but one thing we could, should all be able to agree on is that nothing is fucking changing for the better. It's not changing for the good. It's not changing for anything. It's just continuing. It goes on and on and on. And people, for some reason, believe that things change when I don't... I, maybe I'm missing something. I'm, I'm one of the few that don't get it. I don't see anything changing. I've, well, if, unless you call the chains tightening... If that's a change, I don't see how. That's just more of the same old abuse. So, break out of it. And then how do you do that? It's an interesting topic and it makes people crazy because we all want to believe what makes us feel good, I think. As a hedonist, I will speak for hedonists everywhere and say this. Feeling good is good. Feeling like a piece of shit, I don't, I don't see the luxury or the benefit in that, but there's a lot of it, and the people that feel bad seem to try to drag down, drag on the negative so that you'll join into their shit, and there's just not a lot of us left that, you know, can go out into the world and, and see people just getting along and having a nice life and be happy with that. A lot of us want more. You know, I want a bigger house. I want a three cars instead of two cars. I want a motorcycle. I want an airplane. <laughs> and the shit just goes on and on and on. Somewhere in life, I think I just had enough of all that shit. I'm not really sure how to pin it down to any one incident, but the overall, you know, looking back on how how things are now compared to where they were and yeah less is more in a sense but then again life is about balance to me and uh what balances me doesn't balance the next guy so we're stuck in this like living contradiction where everybody seems to want something different than the next guy but it's all based on what you're looking at, not what you not what you um, think or feel. And then what you think or feel has been manipulated through all these other external fucking ways anyway. Like the delivery of our electricity. Oh, microwave. <laughs> what else is there? Wi-Fi. There, there's so many things working against us that give us the illusion of benefit that we're, we're pretty much doomed. So I guess we are the, uh, what do you call them, the zombies that we all joke about, zombies, and I don't know, maybe we're all zombies in our own way.
you know just not taking advantage of the things that we could take advantage of we don't seem to but like me a lot of people like to complain about the things that have happened but there's no resistance to these things there the majority of everybody just goes along with it and tells you to shut up so uh, it's the ultimate catch-22 build up those calluses oh yeah i'd be on my knees sucking on that donald trump all day long let me tell you that motherfucker can please kate i'm not building up any calluses oh wait a minute they're talking about something else <laughs> they're talking on the chat i'm talking on the radio wait a minute who's soft oh kate's telling anti theo Khan he's soft because his fingers hurt <laughs> I th and he's a bass player, so I don't get it. But different applications bring you different results. And maybe that's something else we're not taught. You know? If you're good at something, you're going to be not good at something else to balance out that talent. I, I too, not unlike too many of you out there in radio land have my own special talents you know things i do well this may not communicating i don't think is one of them i i was talking to the bartender today and i'm still stuck on this idea that communication is actually the the problem it is it doesn't solve anything all communicating does opens up the door to fight because that's what we seem to all do with each other disagree and argue and I'm better and I'm smarter and I'm more right than you and all that horse shit. So in the last hundred years, they've spent a fortune and a ton of fucking time and, and energy into convincing us that what is coming is better than what was. But what they didn't do is tell us the truth about the history in the first place. Now, a lot of people don't really... I don't know if they don't care or if they don't know. Yeah, that would be a coin toss. But a lot of people believe in religion and uh, history. History and education and the government. The government told us so. It must be true. So in Denmark today, I'm not so much debating as disagreeing with a, a woman about she believes that the moon the moon landing from 69 truly happened now me with my modern mind and the way i think i don't think it's possible that they could have done it at the time in history they claim to have done it the beauty of the whole thing is i can disagree with this woman in a foreign country about something in a public place and not be in uh, an argument about it just oh i don't agree with you oh you don't agree with me and that was the terms we came to at the end. Not anger, not stupid, not, you know, like me and hands do. Oh, you're a fucking dolt, blah, 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 all that crap. We're beyond that in a, in a social way. And it kind of makes the information kind of insignificant to me. And it takes me to a level of that is what I was raised with is that you, you let the other guy talk, and if you don't agree with him or if you don't like it, you're decent about it. You go, well, that sounds like a bunch of bullshit, but okay, if that's what you think. Not this crap that we've been taught to do over the last 40 or 50 years. That shit. They had to bring back dueling just so that it'll stop. I mean, for fuck's sake, you got Donald Trump on the goddamn Twitter like a 15-year-old girl telling off foreign governments I mean, does it get any more ignorant than this i mean with all our technology this is the best we have <laughs> I, i'm a lit wait it's a bigly birthday okay they're not they're not chatting at me well i just think that the overall the way we the information and the way we get the information we get, it's a bunch of useless crap that has nothing to do with your daily life. doesn't improve it, but what it does do is it drags you down into this muck where you're more interested in the problem than you are the solution. And 
I'm pretty sure that's what the that's what the system sells us problems and then they tell us oh we're gonna solve your problem and they make the problem 20 times worse by solving it and out of the collective weakness because there's nothing else but government to give us electricity well what are we gonna do and we do nothing or we make the best of the circumstances that we're surrounded by. And some people go a little further with it than others. Like I wouldn't want to live in France or England right now. Or America. Or Australia. Or Canada. Well, let me see. Where else? <laughs> the list is short. Um, hey, wait a minute. Who's shooting ducks while I'm talking? God damn it. Sock, knock it off. Throw me a question, Mr. Anyway, where where are we as, you know, um, as people, whatever the fuck people means? It's not what we think, and it's not what we're told, but yet we still have an opinion about it. <laughs> and that cracks me up because I look at, I look at the society, I look at all of this shit, it's all fiction to me. I, I have a hard time believing any of this crap. But, to some level of reality, I have to participate and give the illusion of, of uh, compliance to some degree. Otherwise, I'd be cast out and live on an island alone somewhere eating squirrel balls. And, you know, that's not what I want. So... But I wonder how many other people do the exact same thing. And as the longer I live in Denmark, the more people I meet in person that actually think more on the lines of the how I do is more live and let live. Don't hurt me. I won't hurt you. We're just here having a drink or a meal or whatever. Let's just get along. And it works really well. But the I think the, the component that can't be met other places is the small population. If you're overcrowded, you're doomed. And, well, you know, I lived in overcrowded, so I adapted to it. But eventually, in the end, I left it behind me. And not only did I leave it behind me, but uh, talked the old lady into joining. In fact, she, well, kind of her idea in a way. But I brought it up in the beginning. And now we live in this rural, small population and find that people here are the same as they were in the city. You'll find your flag wavers and you'll find your anarchists just as much as, but this population being smaller, there's just less people to deal with. So you, you know that saying, uh, water seeks its own level. So it's like I'm I'm just drawn to certain folk and the people that I'm drawn to seem to think the same way I do and whether it's a good or a bad thing fuck that that hasn't even come up the idea that we're from different places we're from different times of life and we all think the same in the overall is the um, I think that's the connection you know, that you could be from so far away, and I've heard so many stories about the land you're from, and you don't seem to be like that at all. Uh, but I ran into some tourists, so I had a little fun talking to them. The husband was a teacher in Connecticut. But his face, when I asked him what he knew about fractional reserve banking, he drew a blank, and he said, never heard of it. So I recommended when he gets off his vacation and goes home, why don't you check that out? <laughs> and and uh, I'm not laughing at him. I'm laughing because the amount of knowledge that is available surpasses what we're capable of absorbing. There's too much of it. You, you can't possibly be aware of all the shit going on in the world. This is not humanly possible. You can only take in so many ideas at a time and some of the ideas people have need to be updated i would say um they need to see another side to the equation that they never looked at before and 
It's what I try to do. And so far, so good. I don't need no doctor, Mr. Grimner says to Bessie. It's hard to be funny without Miss Mary. Don't be a pain in the butt. Let's see. Oh, they're chit-chatting on the RLM and getting along, and everybody's in a happy place. I hope they would be. But the funny part about all this, uh, what do you call it? Countries. Mm, there you go. Um, countries. I don't see countries now in the same light I did five years ago. And then five years ago was different than ten years ago. And today, hmm, I, I'm pretty much convinced that this is all about money and nothing other than money and control. Well, other than, I guess they go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. But money and control seem to be the goal and resistance has been beaten out of people to the point where they'll join these fucking stupid little groups for the illusion of being in a bigger thing and might be the end of them i don't know i would say this is the last year whatever's coming that's gonna fuck us all at the same time it'll be this year and i hope i'm wrong but my predictions are 2018 <laughs> duck <laughs> Let's see what's going on in the chat. Uh, aluminum. I don't know anything about aluminum. Um, trust. I don't want any. I, I don't want aluminum though. Wait. Kate doesn't want any aluminum. Why not? It makes it easier for you to breathe. <laughs> uh, how about global warming? Is global warming a hoax? Yes or no? How could that be a subjective matter? People, some people believe it and some, why? How could you be so gullible as to be sucked into something that was explained in such an obviously deceitful fucking fashion? I mean, they're, they talked people into cutting trees down to save us. These people are fucking psychotic and need to be stopped. And again, there's no, there's no resistance. There's just more um, Goldman Sachs bankers in the fucking White House. <laughs> there's even people on the RLM that think Trump is going to fix it all for us in America. We're going to be great again. <laughs> I hate to tell you this, guys, but I've lived in other places and I don't think America, outside of being a, a tourist place to go visit for a few days or a month or whatever, that's the only interest I ever get. That's the interest I encounter from other people here. They want to go visit, but they don't say, hey, I want to go become an American and stay there. <laughs> <laughs> That's your newspapers and your Mexicans. And then there's reasons beyond that that you still, the average guy doesn't fucking even know exist. Like, the American government solicits people from Central America to move to America through Mexican paper. Well, not Mexican, but Latin papers. But you only read English, so how the fuck are you supposed to know? <laughs> We're, we're, we're being, hey, don't let anybody else know this, but we're being scammed. And I think it's, it's a global, I don't think it's just one country that's getting more scammed than that, the other country. I just think that they're getting scammed differently, you know. Uh, yeah, that, uh, is there, there must be a delay on the radio, but, uh, yeah, fuck, we, we're only human. I mean, if you don't believe what you're reading, why would your, you know, your mind must have some kind of a thing in it that just figures if you're reading it, just the act of reading it gives it 90% more possibility of being true than if you hear it. And I'm not sure. I'm just taking a guess. One of my, you know, scrambled ideas. Um, 
Well, Trump, you got to get, well, people, people who follow tend to need somebody. You know, whether it's an Obama or a Trump or a whoever, that's the whole, that's the disappointing part for me is that they can't just think for their self and come up with their own thing. They've got to listen to a guy they don't know, tell them how to think. Find it disappointing myself, but. I never was one to be popular about the shit I think. They'll never know the difference. They'll love their little Trump figure. Um, well, I don't know. Is it any different? It, does, it doesn't matter who the figure or what the figure is. I mean, we do. we all do it with something. Like, here, let me give you an example. I would say I do it with my concept of freedom because I've taken freedom in reality to levels other people would never dare. They called me horrible names for doing the things I did. And past tense, I did those things in with freedom. And that was my intention was to be free of the grip that everybody else was in and show them that you could still do these things without jumping in the fucking fire. You didn't have to do that. That was your own choice. But I don't know. What do you call it? Hindsight being 2020, the people that it entailed, their life went a different way than mine did. So they probably still don't see what I saw. They'll see it in their own light. And that's how life truly is. Yeah, we're we're supposed to get along. We're not supposed to agree about every fucking detail. You're supposed to be able to go, well, okay, I think you're a freaking idiot, and I don't like you, but you know what? I'm going to allow you to be that way and deal with it in an adult fashion. But what we ended up with is a bunch of bullies forcing us to do things that we don't want to do for the good of everybody else and it eh. someday maybe maybe a few 20 30 years down the road and they breathe this shit out of people and some some form of um i guess straying from the herd catches on if you will instead of going towards that fucking herd the herd doesn't know what it's doing it's a herd it has no conscience. It's just doing what it does. The one doing itself by itself for itself. That's, and it doesn't necessarily need anyone following it. It's just doing what it does. Well, I don't think people have been taught that is a natural, ordinary behavior. I think we're taught that if you stray from the herd, there's something wrong with you. And it, if you look at people that create things or have original thought, most of those are the ones that strayed from the herd. They don't sound like the next motherfucker, you know. And not that there, I guess there's nothing wrong with it. it it's just not my thing. I, I don't want to be like you, whatever that is. I want to be whatever the hell I am without controlling what I am. And it's really not translated very good over the years with the majority but the people i encounter and and have uh foundation with they all get me and even some of the people here on the rlm you know just through the uh verbal interaction or the typing or whatnot i don't really think that any of us that agree want any control over the next person i just want to control me i don't so much give a shit what you do as long as you don't if you don't do it to me i won't do it to you i'd be a retaliatory person not a um not a predator but defense yeah well you know that's a, that's kind of a normal thing but to be a predator is a specialty please do it i don't i don't know if i can do a bob dylan imitation hi i'm bob dylan and you're not <laughs> I don't I don't know <laughs> Bob Dylan. <laughs> Robert Zimmerman was a he was an interesting character. Some of the people in history that well, 
let's see, might be on this. I don't know. There's a delay in the text on the chat, so I'm like 10 minutes behind you guys or something. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I should read something. Let me. What? But what the hell? I remember the story I read on the dork table one day about uh, the official story about a um, a relative of the crown. And the one story was the guy was a horse thief, and the other story was he 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 uh, invented electricity, <laughs> you know, because the people that run things want want their relatives to be seen in a proper light, you know, like a Kennedy. Well, I don't know. I have my mixed emotions about that guy, but if it's true, indeed, that he did make a silver currency backed by silver i believe that's enough reason to kill the poor fucker but that story didn't get told very often what got <laughs> geez what got told was that <laughs> oswald shot kennedy with a magic bullet uh, magic bullet <laughs> okay i guess <laughs> i get it now but wow what the fuck and I saw Johnson's face when he was being sworn in. Boy, that guy looked like the Cheshire cat that swallowed the canary. Tease a big ass delay. Oh yeah, so I know I'm figuring that out. But this is a real diff. I'm not good at this. This is not my strong point. What would my strong point be? Communicating with other people. Um, I would say one on one verbally not radio i mean this how could you possibly really understand what i was saying hearing it on a you know on a internet link it wouldn't translate the same but if you sit down nose to nose with me wow then even the disagreements are in uh kindness there's no anger and yelling and like me and hans i think hans is a complete dolt he thinks I'm a complete dolt. We clash. I can have that clash with people in person without the anger. It's it's like getting along with Mary. It's, me and Mary never disagree to the point of anger. We just disagree. And it's like, so what? <laughs> Why? it? See, it's so rare for us to... I even argue with my wife once. What? About once a year, sweetie? Eh, maybe once a year we'll we'll break down and have a a real disagreement about something, but none last. But still, it's like um, it's like part of us. Like it's something that we were taught to do, and if you don't express it now and again, you you might have a heart attack. Hmm. Could be a reason why American men have heart attacks is they're afraid of yelling at their wives so they keep it all to their self and then, then one day they just explode out the yard <laughs> doing the yard work and had enough in this <laughs> give up. <laughs> Me, I'll fight. I'll fight people that aren't there. I don't <laughs> and in a, in another sense, but I really don't because um it's all done in with the ability to listen to the other side. And I just had to li I had to listen to this woman disagree about the moon unit moon landing being faked. And to me, every indication of that being a fraud and a fake is obvious, and to her, every indication of it being real and true is obvious. So, you know when you're in public with people disagreeing, you have to really be um, understanding and not that I'm going to agree with her. I didn't agree with her to make her feel better. I just told her you know, the truth and she told me the truth. And the result was, oh, okay. N uh, the, the tension level didn't raise or drop over the result. It was just two people talking about opposite sides of the same coin. Now, I sure like to know why that doesn't work with politics. <laughs> wow, we're <laughs> we're so fucked. <laughs> We've got we have the absolute worst of the worst in leadership, writing laws 
so that they can break the law within the law. And I've tried to tell people my side, my the way I interpret this. A license is a fee to break an existing law. If it isn't, why do you got to pay for the license? Why not just break the damn law? What's the fucking difference? Well, if you pay the fee, then they can't prosecute you. And I say, well, isn't that racketeering? <laughs> it's protection money for what? <laughs> to drive a car? Are you out of your fucking mind? And, I don't know, there's been different points of view expressed on, on my results. Some people go, well, you're just lucky. Uh my my interpretation of it is I never meant to do anybody harm. I wasn't hiding anything. I wasn't deceiving anybody. I was just driving a car. Period. Fuck all that with or without a license nonsense. That that never had a value to me in the first place. I just made sure I didn't run into anyone, break any fucking stupid our laws that are just obvious that would hurt people. And my life came out the way it did. I don't know. I think I think we've just been conditioned to sign the fucking paper without the knowledge of how valuable your signature truly is and what it is to you. And then I get arguments. Oh, you and your fucking straw man. Well, maybe so, but if you look back through your whole life, the things that you signed with your signature are the things that bind you and me I'm including me in this because I got married and to do it see all this legal schmiegel crap all is bound by your signature not by what you say not by what you do not by what you promise but that you wrote your name down on that document that that is your your um, it's your wealth in life it's your uh, your status that's how they separate us from the pigs see through our signature but we're taught a lot of other things that have a a better value like property and um, jewelry gold jewelry shit like that things that have a value but they don't teach you how valuable your signature is and or the lack of your say my success was the lack of my signature I was told by other people hey why don't you not do this and give it a little time and see what happens i went really oh yeah well it's hard to believe and they they knew what they were trying to explain to me i wasn't going to listen to it so they found a different way to approach me and when i realized that they were correct in their in their assessment of the situation it saved me a uh, I guess a lifetime full of regret and uh, the ability to enjoy enjoy life yeah. in some ways I don't think other people enjoy it like I do I think they they enjoy it when they can you know because they're busy doing shit they're forced to do so I made a, a real I don't know a real conscious attempt to, to not be forced to do very much. So my bitching level was <laughs> minimal, you know. And But I'm Jewish, so fuck, don't ask me to wash that damn pot, you woman, you. <laughs> but I do it because... <laughs> I don't... What is the... Re I don't know if there's a reason behind anything. I just think sometimes that uh, I feel like doing shit and sometimes I don't. And I'm not shy about saying no. <laughs> but then when you do that, you got to give the other guy the same fucking right. And boy, that'll slap you in the face. <laughs> huh, honey? <laughs> no. Boy, what a magic word. I wish people would use the word no more often. And say no when it's really appropriate. But... I can't follow my own advice, so can't be done. But it's a nice idea, you know. So the best that I can do for now is um, just live amongst people and 
don't bring them more more problems to their life than they already have and it works it's very uh, simple it's easy I don't know maybe for me but I haven't had the urge to like go to the bar and start yelling uh, at people about how Denmark sucks and Sweden's better you know to to stir up some anger and get people in a froth but if I ever do, I'll videotape it and put it on YouTube. <laughs> right, honey? Can you see that? Nah, I couldn't either. But I'll do it on the radio. I'll disagree about just about any damn thing. Let's see. The truth! Well, Antitheocon says that it doesn't work because they're all stuck on the concept of the truth when they should acknowledge it's only a truth well that's a good point because uh, I think thinking for yourself it's not right or wrong that matters you know? it's that you can just let people be what they are without giving them a mouthful of shit for being what they are and getting along with them it's not difficult you don't have to see the damn we don't have to look at the exact same thing and see the exact same thing in order to be civilized to each other. But you have to do that to be mental peers. I mean, let's be realistic. Because for fuck's sake, if I ever even intimate to anybody with an education that I have my doubts about the planet being round, they immediately feel sorry for me. They get out their prayer mats and start praying to the round globe that I'll see the light. But then I try to tell them, the flat thing doesn't convince me either. So, hmm. And f either side, they're still the same. Oh, you either see it round or you see it flat. Well, I don't know. So what does, hmm. What does I don't know mean to the other guy that has an opinion? <laughs> it's it's uh it's fun i mean i try not to get emotional about it it's just pointless but just the differences of opinion based on what what you're told you can't prove this unless you're some kind of fucking science guy i don't know how to prove any of this shit that i've been told they tell me things that i don't know they seem kind of strange <laughs> You know what? I heard some guy telling me, my people are special people <laughs> because <laughs> they wandered across the desert for 40 years lost. Lost in, in a desert. Two million people for 40 years. And all I could think of is, boy, were they stupid. That doesn't seem even physically possible. But yet I'm related by blood to these people that believe this crap. In fact, most of the religious people on the planet basically <laughs> believe in something that's foundation is based on complete nonsense. It might as well be something out of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> it's all the same. The, you know, what is it? The, uh improbability factor is at 7.3 <laughs> I mean, improbability factor but I don't know I just think we I think we're all taught all the wrong shit whatever we're taught it's not it's not helpful it doesn't work it doesn't do much but divide us so that we'll fight with each other about stupid things that don't matter and the things that do matter just get shrub you know shut pushed aside for for bigger things to think about like the national debt <laughs> welfare <laughs> the Rothschilds the Queen of fucking England <laughs> you know <laughs> all these <laughs> all these um, these important things that that somehow matter in my daily life and and I can't find a connection but I'm the outcast because of that opinion so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's not my loss because I 
I'm fine. My opinions are just as fucked up as your opinions because that's what an opinion is. They don't matter. It's just something for us to do between beers <laughs> or meals or whatever your addiction or habit is for the day. You know, if it's smoking, <laughs> whatever. I think we're, we're supposed to be having a good time and enjoying it all, but society figured out how to fuck that up and distract us and we're we're so indoctrinated we don't know that <laughs> so when somebody is having a good time they're entertaining you or they're a hedonist well maybe they're just an example for what you like and you need to follow your road <laughs> you know i didn't get here with i got here with the help of people like um george carlin he, he set me straight on a lot of shit in society. The things that I doubted, he proved I was right. And they killed George off early. He thought he had another 20 or 30 years to go, and he died of a heart attack that year, oddly enough. But he was shooting his mouth off pretty bad on it. on the HBO specials. I think, I think he was telling people the truth, and they called it comedy, but... Hmm. Well, anyway, we're going to, I guess we're just going to believe what we want to believe. And what you want to believe, to me, seems to be whatever the truth is to whoever it is I'm speaking with. You know, if, if I hold a different opinion, doesn't change the other person's outlook. They they might not even be uh, capable of looking at the side that I see it from. But. You know, that's not, maybe that's not all that important. It, what's important is that you get it off your mind and you say it out loud, but you can't really control how the other guy hears it. You know, that's a personal thing. And we're really stuck right now, especially with this Trump shit. Trump and the EU and the Queen of England, all these fucking groups and countries and all this shit. It's real big that you agree with your peers. And I'm starting to get to the point where hmm, I think I'd be afraid to agree with some of these people they call peers. Um, they hold values I don't share. But so few people hold my values, I'm just kind of used to being in the corner. <laughs> Right, like for example, right, war is a banker's game. It has got nothing to do with what we are told it has to do with, and they convince ordinary, average, everyday people to condone murdering total strangers because of stories they're told without physical proof. <laughs> mm. It's been going on for thousands of years, and it. It, according to the Star Trek thing, it'll never end. They're still fighting about lithium in the future. See, commodities. And, you know, I think the part of the equation they leave out of it is the, the greed factor will get anyone. It would get me. If, if I wanted it to uh, expose myself to it, it would consume me just like it consumes the people it consumes. I, I kind of think it's like a, well, I guess it wouldn't be fair, but I'm going to call it a, a, a mental disorder, you know, where you're convinced by other people to do things against your nature so that you could survive in a more comfortable fashion. And I think there's a certain amount of guilt that goes along with it to some of us. Not everybody, some people are immune to it and they call them sociopaths. I'm not so sure that would be the way to explain it, but it it's an identifying name. You know, it gives you something to start at. But maybe it's an acquired taste where you just adapt to the nature of greed, whether you want to or not, because you have to survive. I think I did that. I'm not I'm not so sure I'm immune. I'd like to be, but you know, being um, being like everybody else is a whole lot easier 
than being different than everybody else. So there, you know, even for me, there's just society has got me to, to behave in a certain way. And whether it's against my nature or not, I do it. And I'm not even aware of where I stand on it because it's part of uh, it's part of survival, you know, to do the things that we do because they're acceptable. And without thinking about the consequences that may or may not come from our actions, we but we get caught up into doing certain things. And. Some of them, I don't know, maybe they're not as innocent as they look. Maybe they are more innocent than they look. That's, I, I think that's the good part about being uh, alive at this time is that we have such a, a varied way of looking at things if you want to. You're not stuck in, like, we were pigeonholed in the 60s. Now we've got all this instant information. And if you doubt something, eh, just check it out on the Internet. What they don't tell you is there's equal amounts of both sides on the Internet to find. <laughs> so bring me your verifiable proof, and inside of 10 minutes, I'll show you how it's bullshit. <laughs> now... I don't think it's I don't think there's enough people on the internet where it's really going to matter one way or the other compared to the the population of people that experience life. This internet thing is um it's it's unique and when people are on the internet there's so fucking much to do on it that the groups are very very small. Oh, here, let me go back and read. I'll read, let's see. Uh, Rob Works and Antitheacon are in heavy debate about white privilege, my God and country. I say white privilege is all a matter of what color your skin is. You know, uh, it's like this Jew thing. I can really appreciate <laughs> that. Wow. 15 million people are holding the entire free population hostage through banking. And it's okay. <laughs> That's just the way it is. And and people complain and people lose their, their homes and get uh, evicted and put on the fucking street. But the game stays the same. And and the population doesn't wise up to what the fuck is truly happening. Now, I've tried to tell them before. Look at Palestine. Palestine is practice land for what's coming to America. First come the land grab. They got most of the land. There's a little resistance left. But now comes the violence to get rid of those motherfuckers. So there's 10 years from 20 years from now. There won't be no history of them ever even being there. It'll just eventually be their word against yours. Verifiable fucking resources and research and information. Well, they're controlling the information. And the average Joe just doesn't get it. You're, you're held hostage by the very people that are breaking the fucking law. <laughs> I think Grim gets it and Rob gets it. I know that. Oh! Chloe, not so much. That's right. But, uh, she gets her truth. Well, her truth doesn't matter. My truth doesn't matter. Nobody, see, that's the whole thing. The dead guy doesn't give a flying fuck about your fucking truth. And I think what happened is other people get involved in shit that's none of their fucking business in the first place. And they create problems for people. You know, the Jews are getting $8 million a day. And they're using that to educate their own and give their own. But they're using a part of it to destroy Palestine. If they used all of it, Palestine would have been gone 10 years ago. But it's a slow kill. Now they're, gonna, they're trying to move into Syria, but the Russians are going to stop that. I'll tell you this. If Israel doesn't get stopped, it ain't going to be stopped. 
And those are my fucking people. Love love me, love me, love me. Love me long time. But uh, I don't know. I'm just not of that uh, conquer and take and all that violence shit. It's, uh, eh, it's unnecessary. Just mind, mind your own fucking business. It's pretty much what I've done with my life, you know. I have my opinions about outside shit, but I don't physically go out and, and do anything to, to disrupt the flow. And I think that's the key to to my peace of mind right now, is that there's nothing to fight, nobody to argue with. Um, life is very comfortable. But I have this internet filled with all kinds of problems to fuck that all up. <laughs> So, you know, it can disrupt my comfortability and take my hobbitness away from me. <laughs> and I want to be a happy little hobbit here in Denmark. Who wouldn't? Let's see. One of the choices. I want to be a prepper and prepare for the end of the world. Or I want to be a hobbit and live for the day. Well, I think I'll just be the hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happens. Your life is see, your life is your life, and my life is my life, and it's trying to explain to the other guy that causes all the trouble, because some things don't translate. You try to tell people, and it whether it comes out the way you mean it or it's heard the way you mean it, whatever the fuck the problem is, it's designed to have a problem in it, so we don't get along. At least on you know on the internet, in person I don't I don't think so. I think in person we do very well. You know I, I was saying at the beginning I ran into some people from Connecticut, and it was refreshing to hear Americans. And this guy was a devout Democrat, so was his wife, and we managed to have a conversation, regardless of his political stand. It, it didn't identified him to me it didn't like push me to to like or dislike him i just have that he said that i'm repeating it not like i have a problem with it anyway but the the young guy's a teacher young guy is 42 anyway he's a teacher in america and i tried to give him a few ideas to go home to that he hadn't thought about before like I told him why don't you look up fractional reserve banking when you get back to the states after your vacation that'll give you something to think about <laughs> and it, it amazes me that this information is on the interweb for everybody to open up i've put it on lots of people put it on blah 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 but here we are still doing fractional reserve banking Nothing changes. Well, there. Ooh, medical marijuana. What a fucking con that shit is. Met, for one, marijuana is the Mexican name for cannabis. Just to let you know, my friend. And uh, medical. There's no such thing as medical marijuana. They made it up so they could uh, probably copy. What do you call it? Patent it, sir. Copyright it. So they make some kind of fucking law to own nature. Because legally, I don't think you can own nature. But if you rename it, maybe you can own that. We're being fucked at every fucking level of the game. And prohibitionist problems stop the prohibition of hemp. And there you go. Not this legalize it so you can weigh it out to people as you see fit at they have uh, legalized um, C what's that? Which oil is that? CBD or I'm really bad with all the details. But the the oil that has been accredited to reversing cancer. Let's say it like that. And but the price is so high that most people that are eligible for it can't afford it. So. Who the hell are these people fooling with this shit now? It's a fucking weed. Do you know what it costs to grow a weed? Don't, you know, research and development. Are you fucking joking? They but we're using this stuff 5000 years ago in China. So, don't get sucked into the 
new research and in you know we just discovered that's a bunch of horse shit they were been lying since the start there was a mayor in new york city that did a, a, a study on the the outcome of using marijuana in the 1920s i forget what she was might have been a cuomo or related to or before the cuomos took over but in the 1920s anyway he did a research project all the results came back pro pot and the government the federal government buried his research threw it out yeah moose hemp is e is legal okay legal meaning that they control how much what this that this i mean just why it when the united states started it was a law you had to grow a certain amount of hemp on your property to be a farmer then here we are now all these years later and it's against the law who you know who what why how where <laughs> does anybody get this that with the stroke of a pen nine idiots in fucking robes do a little incantation around a fucking dead skull and hemp is illegal oh what flash nickname yeah that's me cirque changed it moose I well, she did it for me, but she couldn't put me on as Flash, so she changed it to something else that the uh, site would accept, and this is what she came up with. Sorry. Yeah, it's a pirate's name. It's a pirate's name, she says. Somebody. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. Somebody. It just uh, mm. know. the truth about a situation. <clears throat> cannot be decided on by a group of men and women 10,000 miles away from you. What kind of stupidity is that? What's wrong with everybody? Have they lost their fucking mind? It should be a, a matter of free will to do or not do things that obviously don't do anything to anybody else. But what the state figured out how to do is to create criminals out of ideas that in themselves they're not anything but with the help of the media <laughs> the politicians they they make things whatever they want them to be and we the public are most of us are um, innocent to the reality of it's it's controlled we're not being told the truth. We're being told a contrived story to get a result. And if Trump doesn't prove that to you, then you're living in a dream world. Because you got to realize, from my perspective anyway, not you don't have to do fuck all, but I'm just saying, this is how I see it. I grew up making jokes about the president in 2020 is going to be some washed up game show host that everybody laughs at. And here we are in 2018 and the president of the United States is a washed up game show host that everybody here laughs at. So making America great again is it, it's a matter of you. That's in your own mind. The rest of the world is not no <laughs> they're not sharing your illusion johnny wow and trump ain't helping it any he should just like tone it down five or ten notches and and make things great shut the fuck up quit running around like a 15 year old kicking sand in everybody's face <laughs> it's it's old shit it ain't working and it, it may have worked once upon a time but it ain't gonna work now not only that, but by God, have these people been split up into groups? Well, you think 50 states are different. Wait until you see Europe. And that's not including Scandinavia, where I live. But Europe and Scandinavia are different. The UK and Europe are different if you live there. If you're in America, it's all the same shit, like 50 states. But it, it ain't. So, mm. Well, leave that for another show. Maybe me and Mary can, uh, what do you call it, 
debate it. <laughs> Me and Mary are going to debate Europe. <laughs> and oh, by the way, fuck the EU too. The EU, America, Denmark, England, all these fucking countries. Jeez. These people are all in. To me, they're all insane. The good part is that some places use rope instead of barbed wire and walls. <laughs> oh, Trump love me very much, anti. <laughs> Trump could give two flying fucks about me. Are you kidding? Poor, that poor guy. He's so full of Trump, he don't even know we're here. And the people that do all that shit that he takes all the credit for doing... Wow, if you believe that he makes a decision, the man used the what the six worst words in the English language to explain to everybody how he knew all the good words. <laughs> so no, see, there's levels of understanding in my you know in the way I see it. You'll see it your way, and I'll see it my way, and then there'll be another way to look at it. And if you look at it from this side, you'll see something fucking else. Ouch! Master debate. Ooh. I yeah. Remember, I somebody wrote that. They wrote. Uh, they wrote. Uh, they wrote. They wrote bait wrong for years. I think it was trust no one. And they went, oh yeah, master debater. <laughs> I thought, oh, master baiter. It's not. Eh, never mind. <laughs> but you hit you hit the joke on the head with your text, Moose Girl. I warned you guys. This shit's difficult to do without a partner. Boy, I'm telling you. Let's see. What do we got on the chat? Trump. Well. It doesn't matter what Trump does or doesn't do. What matters is what you read or hear about what Trump does or doesn't do. What, what difference does it make anyway? I mean, wow. Has everybody lost their fucking mind? Are we all so dependent on a fucking stranger to save us that we can't do shit for ourselves? I mean, please you know i i adapt and uh i think that the the lack of danish here the people that live here understand at my age how difficult it would be for me to speak danish to where i would be understood not you know be get to get beyond what the hell did he just say in danish to oh yeah but it's not as easy as it it sounds easy to do but it's it's not it's not like english english you can you can just bastardize the shit out of english look at how many states people talk different from one state to the other oh, thank you miss kate i have no idea i just got stoned and decided to give the old opinionator a shot on the dork table you know and uh, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm right to me. That's what, see, I think that you're right to you and I'm right to me. And as long as we leave it that fucking way, that's, that's how you succeed. You don't succeed by clashing. Clashing is it's a waste of time. It doesn't, it doesn't bring a solution. It just gets you to waste all your time in the problem. So, and that's what we've been trained to do. You know, that's what I think. So I had this conversation today with a, a teacher. This woman's a teacher. And I asked her at the end before I left, I said, so it, is your goal to bring that part out of a person where they think for their self? Or are you teaching them something? <laughs> and I don't know how to answer that myself. It just kind of spewed out of me, but... She grabbed onto the, I'd like for them to think for their self. So that's an interesting thing. How do you bring that out of somebody else? What would you possibly say to another person that they would have this light bulb come up over their head? Ding, 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 ding. I just learned how to think for myself. Creation and imagination. Well, Cirque says creation 
and imagination. Well, how do you judge what other people have? I mean, hmm. practice, practice, practice. yeah, but I don't judge your creative side. I judge my own. I just look at yours. I don't improve it or change it. I just look at what you made. If I want to change something, I'll make my own and change that one. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe we're... See, I think that as a as a collective, that our, our uh, interests are not brought out of us properly. They, they force a lot of uh, state-sanctioned shit that doesn't mean fuck all to anyone and they call it education when the things that you need to learn they seem to ignore most of that like how to get along in a society where you don't speak the common language that in itself it's uh, there are people that visit here from America that create a disturbance while they stay because they're so um opinionated is the, the my take on the dane the dane was very wow they were schooling me <laughs> and i don't think this the dane's approach to me is so much they're schooling me as they don't give a shit what i think <laughs> is what i think as long as i don't physically act out any particular you know side of the game I don't think the Danes give a fuck what I believe or what I don't believe as long as I leave them alone and I'm nice in public. There, there's your The weight of your success is just being normal. <laughs> and I know uh, Moose will always give me shit about the word, but there is a, door, a normalcy to a society. There's things that you do and things that you don't do. And we all know what they are and this society I'm in seems to be very more, much more aware of the not do things and they avoid them even by acts. I mean, I think I, I heard a kid yelling today and I couldn't tell if there was somebody tickling them to the point of screaming because it's so rare to hear a child yell in public. <laughs> the exact opposite of what I was accustomed to in America where people would just let their kids have tantrums in the damn store all the unopened people see the spammer joining in the kick uh oh Grimner's talking all kinds of geek stuff on the hey get... ah I was taking a minute to whisper into my wife's loving ears I did not. I moved it. I didn't. <laughs> I'm terrible at this radio stuff. Don't mess with me now. Anyway. So, I I don't know. Um, it's just very interesting that where whatever country I go to, no matter what kind of people I really encounter, uh, the arguing doesn't get beyond... You know, no, I don't see it that way. I see it like this. And, oh, okay. Not some kind of uh, screaming argument where the other one is an idiot because they don't see it your way. Well, that does exist, but I, I don't seem to run into that personally. But I read about it on the internet all the time. Hmm. Uh oh. They kicked Moosey? Uh oh. Oh no, the spamming on the RLM. Yeah, we've been getting hit by spamming stuff all over the RLM for like the last two days. I just ignore it. I don't. I don't know. I'm not gonna fuck up my computer trying to fix it. Cause I bet you that's what I would do if I tried to fix it. I'd make bigger. Pro oh, thanks, sir. I'd make a bigger problem than I had in the first place. But, let's see here. Well, that, I guess, we could call that a dork table round. And I'll give you a 
Thanks for checking in with me this week here. I sure like it better when Mary's around. It gives me somebody to ignore. And the spam. I'm going to spam Miss Mary. And okay, so what do we got? Let's see. This is um, Saturday. So we've got no, nothing going on tonight. But tomorrow, Grimner plays the blues in the afternoon. And then he challenges us meatheads to a game of trivia. But he's pretty hard to beat. Fucker. Lightning fingers, Grim, in his damn trivia. Tomorrow in the afternoon. And then, after that, who? Oh, get your shit. Hal Anthony on a, behind the woodshed. And Hal has been on fire the last couple weeks. Now, I don't disagree with Hal or anything, but I understand his frustration. But once he gets beyond being mad and he starts explaining shit, that's when, you know, that's when I really get into the show. But he's right. You know, we're, uh, we're, all, we're, we're fucked through our silence. And uh, they, they call it uh, implied consent legally and there you go it's not something i made up out of my mind it's real uh okay so i guess we'll just close the show with that and thanks for giving me uh the old dork table time there grimner and i'll see you later